So, welcome everybody to Tales of Thumbs of Fortune week number two. Uh, if you haven't already seen week one, be sure to go and watch it. It was an interesting first few episodes. So, recap for last week, in case you don't want to go and watch them. We have our party of new adventurers in a new region of the world, which is known as the Northern Territories. They had been requested to deliver supplies to Fort Iron Tower, which is... Uh, outpost to the far north and they were told about kobolds in the area that had been hijacking the supply trains they happily obliged to go and solve this problem they found a kobold den they murdered some innocent sleeping kobolds uh Jin <laughs> yeah Jin officially losing his temper and just murdering one outright <coughs> we dispatched them don't murder no we just merely dispatched them Technically, I didn't kill any of the kobolds. I, I thought, well, the worst I did was whack one on the head with my mace, but, you know, I never killed a single kobold. You've adopted one, though. Yeah, true. <laughs> this true. is true. I was about to get onto that. And they have adopted, as they ventured through, they've adopted a new ally in the form of a kobold, which has been granted the name Bob Littleclaw. And it's formed a very strong bond to the... Halfling cleric. <laughs> yeah. Why does this always happen? It's it's always the kobolds. It's never goblins. It's never gnolls. It's kobolds that somehow get saved. <sighs> cannon fodder. I don't know. Yeah, but Bob is cannon fodder. He's <laughs> about as strong as any other kobold. Really, he's going to get uh, massacred. No, I'll, I'll I'll try and protect him. Try being a key word. Yeah, I was going to say, you will try. I'm going to have great fun trying to end him. <laughs> Not before like me. You did with my wolf that I wanted. <laughs> <coughs> That's true. So, anyway, um, we last left them here in the storage room. They found the majority of the stolen supplies. So, they found chickens, apples, barrels of mead, wine, so on and so forth. And looted a chest containing 97 silver? That was, 90... was it? Was it 93? 97? I think it was 97. Because I we had 32 coins each and we gave one to Bob. Yes, it was 97. I'll just scroll up and check the log. Alrighty then, so we shall pick up with you guys and Bob still in the eerie cave. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Do you found the supplies? But there's still more well, of the cave to explore. Well, we may as well... Well... Well, at least we know where the stuff is once we get back to it. Yeah, so maybe we could press anyone else blocking us. <laughs> True. Uh, mm. Bob does point out that there are four kobolds out front. That he managed to trick. So there are still people in the way. That's why I was saying last time is that shouldn't we dispatch that try to dispatch the people that are going to come in and block our way out, than go deeper in and. <laughs> I say we go back out with the supplies that we've got at the moment to come back again in the future to explore further. Oh, I, I can agree to that. It's alright. Bob's still staring at that silver coin. <laughs> he doesn't care as long as he gets more silver. Fair enough. Well, I suppose we should try and carry as much of his stuff as possible, or at least dispatch the other ones first. While, while uh, doing it out of Bob's earshot. No, yeah, Bob doesn't mind if you kill the other kobolds. He's fine with it. Well, okay, then that changes everything. Well, he's, his allegiance is with you guys now, so... Any of the enemy. Right. Should we leave Bob here while we go and dispatch the others? And at least then, 
if anyone does come searching the room for the missing people, they're not going to raise the alarm because Bob's there to trick them. That's a suggestion. No, uh, Bob wants to come with you. Bob wants to get some action. Okay. He wants to I prove just... himself. Let's just go back out and see what we can do. Okay, then. All right. Well, okay, then. I'll so you guys out. make your way back to the entrance, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay, then. Uh, Bob's token you guys do have control over, so you can move him about and whatnot. As he is right, then. NPC. And I just need to get some fresh minions on the board. And I do mean fresh minions. Come on, yeah. old load me some kobolds. Uh, so whereabouts are we going party? Yeah. Back to the entrance, aren't we? Back, yeah. All the way back to the entrance? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Fantastic. Okay, so if you guys want to move your tokens, because you know where all the traps and that are now. Yeah. So there's Maybe nothing Bob. to fear. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Bob. Uh, I'm fine. Uh, okay. Bob very close. As you guys start walking back out through the cave, you can see the afternoon light creeping in through the vine line. Uh, nobody's stealthing, are they? You're just walking up, happy as can be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just I'm walking up. Fantastic. As you guys... I was about to say, we just should have been stealthed out, and we shouldn't be... Clank, clank, yeah. clank, clank, clank. Clank, clank, clank. Well, clank. that's your own fault now. You have to deal with this. Uh, yeah, as you guys are walking up, making all this noise, you can see the shapes of the kobolds from earlier through the vine line. <laughs> As you get closer, you hear them screech and uh, make rather reptilian hissing sounds, which I can't do. And they appear to have noticed you. Uh, roll for initiative. Right. Whoops, I'm attempting to use a command that has nothing attached to it. Let's try that again. There we go. Uh, that's also right, clear, uh... guys. Off. So, yeah, you need to click on your token and then click on the initiative thing. It's all still in edit mode, Trim. Did I turn it off? Wait, oh, I, I've already turned it off. Okay. I'm going to see a load of clicking and ums. I'm thinking, oh, did I turn it off? Did I leave it oh, off? Oh, no, I, I pressed for initiative, but like, uh, I wasn't sure whether your... it appeared. No, it hasn't. You need to click on your token so it's highlighted, and then click on the character sheet. Oh, okay. Right. So that oh, way it's actively right. going, oh, this is the right token for the right role. Okay. Right. And then it should pop up. If not, I can do it for you. There we okay, go. yep. 19. Done it. And let's do Bob's as well. Go, Bob! Okay, I... Go, Bob! Bob's actually going quite a high roll. <coughs> nice. Alright then, so, uh, Jin, you are going first. Um, can I go just storming forwards for that one there? Yep. Full pout with my um, rapier drawn. I, I like the sound of your plan. Right. Um. God, I fear you at third long. Uh, Fifteen versus AC is a hit, so six points of damage on to that one. Yeah, that rapier goes straight through his chest out the other side and he just looks down in horror and goes limp as you withdraw it and he collapses into a heap in front of you. <coughs> and Bob cheers 
like a little cheerleader. Oh. Uh, Trim, it is your go. Okay. And you have new spells, because I goofed. Okay. I goofed hard. I'm just having a quick looky at the new spells. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um was guiding I uh, was guiding bolt do again. Um, uh it tells you right there. So yeah, you throw uh, a streak uh, of light towards a target and then it takes a ton of damage and you also give advantage on the next attack roll. Okay, well that's not what I'm going to do. Uh, that's fine. Um, um I'm just going to walk up to that one and hmm, do I want to try out Bane now? Do I? I am hmm. tempted to do the Bane voice only because there was a glass right in front of me. <laughs> um... I'm not going to do that yet. I'm just going to try and pop it on the head with my mace. Okay then. Roll to hit then to bash its face in. <coughs> a nine sadly is a miss. You swing just that little bit too short. God damn it. Yeah, the sun was in your eyes. <laughs> uh, Shinju, it is your go. Everyone is blocking I can't your move way. to where Trim is, can I? No. No, because I was. Trim can gonna... hide between your legs, but you can't occupy the same space. Um. Yeah. Well. Um. Hang on. Should I? Should I? Um. Move. Well, am I able to move back, or is it my turn? End. End of. No. Sorry. Um. No. How far did you move to start with? I only moved from. It was next to Bob, weren't you? Yeah. Oh, it was next to Bob, yeah. Yeah, so you have an extra five feet of movement. Okay, I will go behind Jin and hide uh, behind his legs then. Okay. So, um, you know, i let the uh, big elves Door do the queen. job. Okay. Um, <coughs> I wasn't doing this last session, because I was letting you all sort of get used to the game and everything. Uh, but if you move away from that kobold, he does get an attack of opportunity on you. It's nothing okay. personal. You just like give an opening for him to take a swing. Okay. As a reaction, so he's going to take a swing. He may miss. Mm. Uh, he's only got a puny little dagger. And s I think that's a hit. Twenty versus AC. Oh. AC. Eighteen. Yeah. Manages to hit you. So as you back step away, he lunges out with the dagger and manages to. Nip you for four points of damage. Okay. So, there we go. God damn it. So, there you go, Shin. Carry on. Um, yeah, I was gonna... I thought I could use my Thunderbolt and that would clear the passage for us to actually get out. Okay. It is. Thunderwave Thunder away. Wave. Thunder wave. Thunder wave. Thunder. 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 <laughs> oh. Actually, I was thinking more ACDC. You've been thunderstruck. Thunderstruck. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Um, my man, you know, jumping out of <laughs> a plane. <laughs> uh, so, which? How's your fifteen foot cube gonna go? Because you can only get two. You wouldn't get three of them. No, that's fine. That's what I want to do. Is so get the two, so then we can step out. Down. Yeah. Okay, they need to make constitution saving throws, which they're terrible at. First one passes, second one <laughs> also passes. <laughs> yes! Oh, God. Well, they take half damage, but they're not pushed anywhere. Uh, how many hit points have they got? Exactly dead. So yeah, you play that power chord once again, that thunderous wave shoots out from you, and... They fall over with their ears bleeding, their sort of sinuses <laughs> concave, but they don't fly back anywhere. They manage to stick their feet in. Yeah. 
And then you can just imagine me just sort of tiptoeing over over the top of one. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got this image of you like doing that and then very daintily going, sorry, sorry, pardon me. <laughs> yeah, that's what exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Okay, Bob is going to go prove his worth to you. This okay. can only end badly. Uh, let's clear these three cables out of the way. Bob, it's all on you. you. Stab him. Uh, yeah. oh! Go, Bob! Bob rushes past all three of you to see this little um, sort of lizard head Bob as he goes. <coughs> Darts out between your legs and just stabs this other kobold straight in the arm and rips out and does four points of damage. Go, Bob! Um, yeah, Bob, all go flying past. <laughs> oh, I've just removed the model, the token that assigned the kobolds. Whoops. <laughs> that was dumb. <laughs> so I the think kobolds you are off to Bob. Yeah, I deleted the token so it's got rid <laughs> of the initiative order. Uh, I think they're on nine anyway, so at least that's something. Um, just put them back in. Makes life nice and easy. Uh, reset that city sending. Da -da -da -da. Right, so it is the kobold's go. He's going to get his revenge on his uh, best. Oh no! No! Jin, Shin, you watch in the only way to describe it is horror as that kobold that got stabbed turns around, manages to lash out with its dagger, catching Bob just sort of shy of the jugular and then digging a little bit deeper and deeper as it comes right across and flicks out. You see blood gush everywhere and Bob just drops instantly. Um, he's gonna have to make some saving throws. That ain't good. Bob! See, told you it wasn't gonna last. I know, but. Jim, uh, this is your go. <laughs> I feel bad uh, now. <laughs> seeing, how, seeing how Trim is so upset, I, you know, I don't wanna disappoint one of the party so I go lunging forward again to try and save the day of Bob even though he hasn't quite got much saving left <laughs> <laughs> again rapier still in hands I let out an angry cry of anger <laughs> an angry cry of anger yes that's... <laughs> couldn't put it better Lunge forward. Uh, and 11 is going to be a miss, though you do have inspiration from last week if you want to use it up to get advantage. I will give you this opportunity if you so desire. Uh, I'll save that for where we might need it a bit more sufficiently. <laughs> Fair enough then. So, yeah, you come running through, go for the swipe, and unfortunately, you. Missed the little blighter by just a hair's breadth, managed to nip the top of his ear, but sadly it's not enough. Trim, it's your go. Um, question Do I have any inspiration dice from last week? I want to say yes, you do. But Did I I'm give not... inspiration? I'm not yes. sure whether you. Right. Yes, you have inspiration. Okay. That's the D&D &D uh, inspiration, not the Bardic inspiration. Okay. So, if you want to use it, you get advantage on your next D20 roll. Right. Well, seeing as that merciless thing... I'm not looking for the spot. Piers, our call got interrupted. So, yeah. No, no, sorry. Um, it's just uh, my sister came in wanted to know I wanted anything um okay seeing how that mean mean cobalt killed like our friend who we'd only known for a few minutes or so uh I oh, run up to that douche 
and um, in a sort of fit of anger um, <laughs> I'm going to try out Bane and just okay. pretty much say like <laughs> you deserve death die <laughs> Go on then, click on Bane. Oh. Die, die, die. Terrible <laughs> sort of impression, but oh well. Okay. Yeah, we're all full of self impressions. Okay, you need to make a charisma saving throw. Oh god, and charisma is not one of my strong points. Oh, no, no, I have to make the saving throw, not you. Oh, okay. And I pass. Oh god damn it. Yeah, your your bane has no effect on him. Well, you let you let out your vile hatred on him, and it does not seem to affect him at all. It just washes over him. He's heard this a thousand times before. He relishes it. He loves it. <laughs> he boils his noodles in your tears. <laughs> okay, Shin. This is your go. If you want to, you can step over Bob. That's okay. I was gonna step over and <laughs> step over date and date it dateley again, and um, just sort of give a little jab, longsword. <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. As you go for that little jab, the longsword, you manage to find an opening through that cobalt stance, ram it through his ribcage, pierce his heart, and pull it back <coughs> out again. He just collapses slowly laughing all the while so uh, congratulations you just killed four kobolds and Bob is dying <laughs> Trim not going still well for Bob killed... Trim still hasn't killed a single kobold <coughs> that's a good thing you're a cleric you're meant to be healing people not killing them true true okay um Right. Right. What do you guys want to do with Bob? Uh, yes. Let's see. Actually, you need to make a saving throw. Trim's pet. <laughs> Trim's pet. Oh dear. He's beginning to fade fast. Um. He's still alive, by the way. He's like completely unconscious and unresponsive. Okay. And his wound is still bleeding, and he's his um... breathing's getting quite. I think it's what lighter. I'm just the cast spec. Oh, sorry. Well, I say what we got in terms of our medical stuff that we picked up from the cave. I got spared of dying. That'll do it. So, yeah, I I go up to Bob and I touch. Well, sort of place my hand on his poor, poor body. I'm like Bob. I know we've only known you for like five minutes or so, but, but I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really want to see like this fan art of Trim sitting there in that heroic kneeling with the dead body thing from the old DC <laughs> oh comics. But it's Trim holding Bob just crying out, no! See, I'm imagining um, Brianna from Game of Thrones at the minute, you know? Just yeah. <laughs> I'm more imagining a mixture of Brianna holding Dobby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's that moment, it's Dobby on the beach. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I, I just sort of touch him like, Bob! I've only known you for like a few minutes or so, but <laughs> but but you were a brave, brave cobalt, and you were really impressive with that dagger. And I need someone to carry like the medical supplies. I can't do that on my own. <laughs> <laughs> I need someone to carry my bags. <laughs> yes. I'm too important to do it. So, so effectively, plans. he was just merely the pack mule. <laughs> I had such plans. We were going to go on a montage of me shopping and you all do that. 
<laughs> Please say you edit in a montage. Of this. <laughs> edit in a montage, please. Yeah. Anyone well, who can just... draw, please, because I like, cannot draw to save my life. No, I'm just imagining Trim like skipping through a field of flowers, like la 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 sort of thing, and then just Bob sort of struggling with all the bags <laughs> behind her. With a sort of smile, of course. <laughs> oh. 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 Anyway, as you say these heartfelt words and hold on to his <laughs> weakening paw, <laughs> your prayers and your um, desire to keep Bob alive flow through you, flow through your hand, flow into Bob. You watch, the wound is still open, but the blood has stopped spewing out everywhere, and his breathing begins to relax, and he's stable. He's an as they say in the news quite a lot, he's in a critical but stable condition. <laughs> can go either way. Yeah. If he takes any damage, we're back to square one. But for now, he's just... Okay. <laughs> Someone is going to have to carry him. <laughs> <laughs> he's so really choked up over all <laughs> That's okay, I was watching Critical Role on Sunday and I got choked up over Scanlan dying. <coughs> Spoiler alert! I'm only after episode 18. Oh yeah, I forgot you've only decided watching it, sorry. Well, I heard, dun, I heard, dun, I heard, I've heard things, so, you know, I've, I've heard many things. Yeah, I don't consider, like, major things as a spoiler, it's more what happens as a spoiler. <coughs> I have not revealed details, I've just said this happened. I haven't told you how it happened. Fair enough, but still, spoilers, guys. Anyways, so, yeah, Bob is in a critical yet stable condition. Yep. You guys have gained your XP. What do you want to do? Bearing in mind, it is the afternoon, the sun is starting to go down. Mm. And these wonderful green trees are now starting to get a bit of orange from the sun setting. Do you think we're safe enough to camp here for the night? This big ominous voice in the back of your head just says, bad idea. Cave, kobolds behind you, kobolds coming back. You are yeah, not going to get any idea. rest. But the end is going to have fun. We should <laughs> head forward. Yeah, we, we shall venture out. Um, how how many more hours of sunlight do we, do we sh have? Um, you reckon you've probably got two, three hours left? Enough definitely to get back to Fort Iron Tower and sort of get yourselves a nice evening meal before night really settles in. Yeah. I well, think that that's the best. <laughs> I mean, you, you got, at the time of year it's pretty much summer, so it's like tons of daylight and very little actual night. Well... Hmm. Let's stay here and have instant death, or go back to a nice comfortable keep behind large iron walls. And and hopefully Bob will, well, kind of recover from that, uh, experience. <laughs> Are you okay, oh, Tashi? Yeah. Would you like a Kleenex? No, no, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine. No, no, it's fine. Um, no, just pretend stiffly. Like, <laughs> um, that no, I, yeah. Well, since I'm the one who pretty much adopted him, I may as well carry him with all the heavy stuff. Okay. <laughs> how how we equally share the load? Yeah, you can equally share the load. Fair enough then. Much oh. grumbling from me because I'm a princess. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get back. <laughs> I begrudgingly sort of take out stuff and give and hand however much you guys can carry. Yeah, they can carry a lot more than you because they're bigger and stronger and have the bulk. I was about to say, did we actually pick up stuff from that room at all? Yeah, we did. Yeah, you've picked up some of the goods, but not all of it. There was way too much for any, like, four party people to carry. Mm. If you think about it, you guys had a cart full, and they were saying about other cart fulls going missing, so this may be a 
several shuttle bus worth. So, you know, it is basically a caravan yep. of <laughs> supplies. It's a good idea, though, to go and tell big lizard men and ogres yes. that there is more stuff. <laughs> yeah. Not sure how they'll take um, me carrying this cobalt on my back, but I don't care. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you guys head back to Fort Iron Tower, yeah? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Fantastic. <coughs> For the sake of the people at home, we shall throw up the region map. Uh, bring you guys across to it as well. So just to give you an idea of roughly like how far you were distance-wise, you guys were sort of about there-ish in the mm. grand scheme of things. In the woods, but a bit far out from village and Fort Iron Tower. You make your way back. No trouble at all. Nothing bad happens. The sun is starting to set. As you sort of walk back through the grounds of the keep, uh, Tashi notices a few other soldiers give you a funny look as you're carrying this kobold. <laughs> uh, actually, how are you carrying it? Are you carrying, like, firemen under your uh, arms or sort of I, over I your was, back? I was thinking over my back. <coughs> okay. Yeah. So, yeah, as you're bringing it back you, with it, with him over your back, slumped over, that will give you a funny look. He's like, what? Why? You rescued a kobold. <laughs> to, to what end? Okay. <laughs> strange, strange person. Uh, where do you guys want to go from here? Um, well, should we be go the... and check back in with the bloke and take what we have? Yep. Uh, you ask about, they tell you the commander's still inside the keep. Although, uh, be careful, he's still a bit pissed off. I'm going to say nothing. I would suggest you stay outside. Yeah. <laughs> with a <I> kobold. <laughs> yeah, I'll just stay outside with the kobold. Go to the pub. <laughs> yeah, pub's, pub's good. Pub's a good idea. I shall drink my sorrows away <laughs> with a dead kobold. He's not dead, well, he's just... Breathing well, heavily just, and he's got a gash across his neck. Uh, okay, unconscious. Come there we on. go. <laughs> can I can I cure? Well, uh, hang on, like cure wound him or something? Uh, you can do, yeah. You can do okay, wounds. yeah. Make make sure that the gash on his neck is. Uh, uh roll cure wounds for me for a sec. Just so we know how many he gets back. Oh sweet, he's back up to four hit points. Yay. Uh, I'm going to need to update his token. So, uh, you guys go <coughs> back in. Trim and Bob are off to the pub. Yep. You guys are off the pub, so we'll get rid of Trim's token from this table. Uh, you guys should be able to control these tokens, I think. Yep. Uh, no. No, I can't. Oh, no, I can't. Yeah, I just had to update them. That represents Shinju. I wish you look into the Roll20 wiki and see if there's a way to permanently make a token so if I bring it from the library into the game it's automatically all set up and ready to go. There probably is a way to do it. Yeah, it's probably just like a setting that you need to tick box. Probably. Or just something really weird. Either way, getting over that. Um, yeah, you guys walk on in. It's the same as it was last time, so it's a well-decorated stone floor. Uh, it seems a bit more done up in here than it was earlier in the day. They've actually now laid out several more maps. There's rooms for more uh, officers and such to sit on. Uh, you can see various officers, so sergeants and lieutenants, uh, arranged on the sides of the table. So if I bring you guys back here... So yeah, they're sort of down the sides of the table. The commander himself is sat on a chair at the top. And he's ordering his various trips of where to go, how long they're going to be. He Again, he's speaking in a language that you cannot comprehend. It's all these growls and hisses. But everybody else, including Sergeant Gutwrench, fully understands and knows what they're saying. Uh, what do you guys do? Um... <laughs> Uh -huh. We knocked lightly on the door. 
<coughs> you hear this very loud roar. To which you assume means enter. Yep. Fantastic. So as you go in, Stormclaw sits there, he looks up, sees you all. <coughs> he, <coughs> he shouts, uh, dismiss to his men. And they all walk off and some of them start discussing amongst themselves, you know. Oh, we're going to have to go through with this plan then. Etc, etc. He looks over to you two. From his chair, he doesn't really move much. Holds his hand up to his chin. So then, you're back. And that's the wrong voice for Commander Stormclaw, but we'll roll with it. Feels <laughs> right. Feels right. Yep, we're back. We found the place with all the stuff. We brought some of it back, but it will, there's going to need about three or four trips, I would guess. It's fine. I've got the men to spare. None of my men are going adventuring to pre-attack the orcs for another few months yet, for another couple of weeks, so we'll certainly have the regiment. And he gestures over the table as he stands up and walks across to one of the maps. Do you know whereabouts in this region it was? So you help. Just to the west. Um, as as you get to the mountains, so go through the woods, literally straight, and it's the first set of mountains that you come to. Probably about two hours walk from here. <laughs> yeah, you guys give these directions as all points out of the map. He slams you both in the back <coughs> quite hard as well. It makes you... Uh, choke a little bit because it's that hard and that force one it says thank you very much I uh, appreciate the help um, should we warn him that we have dispatched some of the cobalts but not all <laughs> uh, I don't mind if you leave a few standing my men could do with the practice and formations and fighting in tight corridors and it's all good anyway cobalts are tricky little bastards they will uh employ any tactic necessary as we've learnt <laughs> indeed although you look troubled young elf what seems to be the matter me? yeah I'm alright <laughs> he's always giving you this discerning look and yes <laughs> you look like you've seen something troubling and it's upset you well, one of our parties did adopt a thing. <laughs> you shouldn't have told him that. <laughs> a thing. I'm bound to find out. It's been bleeding halfway across the bloody <laughs> keep. <laughs> no, so let doesn't... me tell him and do a charisma check. Now shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you can roll the deception if you want. I'm sure I like to say, no, no, no. No, there's no thing. Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. <laughs> Oh, Can I, I use <laughs> illusion on him just to sort of like <laughs> illusion of that it never happened? Uh, no. <laughs> that we didn't say no. No, no, no. You can you can roll a deception check to see if he will uh, believe you. A deception's five, <laughs> so plus five. Yeah, so you, I would guess. You nearly did <laughs> max. That's a annoying thing with all this. Ow. Sorry, I nearly rolled max. All right, he got twenty-four, so one more would have been twenty-five. The max he could possibly get. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Natural twenty, the best he could ever have. Um. So yeah, you. Uh, what do you want to say to him? as like a deception. Uh, she, she picked up a um. Uh, when we say a friend, we mean like a fur coat or something. <laughs> Looks a like spider. a dead animal around her neck. <laughs> oh! Carrying it on her back. <laughs> oh, so she got like a rabbit or a young wolf or fox cub? A bit more scaly. Scaly? <laughs> yeah. Well, I suppose it could have mange or something. It Although it would be good for a cleric to learn how to cure the 
the deceased, though personally with animals I'd give it to a druid. But mm, that should be fine. <coughs> I thought for a moment you meant that you had lost that small halfling. Oh no, not at all. She's just gone to get drunk in the pub. <laughs> <laughs> Thinks about it for a moment and realises, no, most people get drunk in the pub. He doesn't. Well, I have some work to get back on with. If I have need of your services, I will find a way of getting hold of you. Wasn't there something to do with money? Leading over the table. <laughs> After all, we have to live it. <sighs> so walks defeated back to his chair, slumps down. <laughs> you hear the coin purse hit the you see the coin purse hit the deck. Alright, oh, what what was agreed? Two gold pieces per person. I can't remember, <laughs> I can't remember either. That's the worst, but even he can't remember. It's been a very busy day. Oh, fine, I think we'll... it was silver, if you, if if I'm being nice. <laughs> yeah, we'll say two gold. He's tired and forgetful. So he pulls out <coughs> six gold coins. He puts them into three stacks of two. Well, there you go. That's for you, and he moves apart towards you, Shinju. You, moves apart towards you, Jin. And moves on sort of in between the two. Goes, right, that one is for the halfling. Please make sure she gets it. As always, we will do. <laughs> Guild of Dragon, there are free rooms for you should you need them. He looks out the window and suspects that uh, I may be right on that one. And uh, do be careful, my men tend to be very loud when eating in that mess hall. No problem at all, I'm sure I can sort them out as I put the money into. <laughs> Top of my bra. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh my. With music, dear. With music. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fully understandable. But although I'm sure they'd prefer what you and I were thinking. <laughs> Make well, it I can be Make back. <laughs> <laughs> and this kid is now getting very, very <laughs> 16 rating. Oh no, I was thinking, you know, she, she's doing her outfit, like like Esmeralda kind of dancing with the... With I the suppose, yeah, that's, that now brings it back down to PG-12. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> doing lady favours. <laughs> and we're back to 18. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, we went 16, PG-12, 18 at lady favours. <laughs> Made Game of Thrones in Westworld go, whoa, too far. Whoa. <laughs> HBO, d and <laughs> I wouldn't put it past them actually to do a D&D series soon enough. Uh, uh, right. True. Anyways. The pub. Yes. And then we need to get you tokens on for everybody else. Yay! So we need that on for net. I also need Kobold. So yeah, you introduce him to this wonderful thing called ale. Yeah. He drinks it. And he licks <laughs> his lips and realizes that yeah, this stuff is really nice. He'd like more. <laughs> and some more and some more yeah uh the barman does give you a funny look as to why you've brought a kobold into his bar <laughs> but you know they're still humanoid and they and you're paying for your drinks he's a very very brave kobold he he held as like he's my baby <laughs> he's my baby i was gonna say I think you're right. he's a very very brave <laughs> kobold he's given like that smug smile but yes, yes I am. Please keep the beer coming. I've she, been a she, good boy. <laughs> she hides the fact that he died. But, well. Nearly died. Sort of. 
nearly died. She hides the fact that she he nearly died, you know, just to make him, you know, badass and everything. Yeah. Um, uh, and I think way, she may be a little bit tipsy take at this off, point. Uh, two, so actually, four silver pieces as you've gone through, like, two gallons of ale by this point between the two of you. Okay. Uh, two. Wait, did we actually put the uh, coinage, like, the silver pieces? Um, uh, from... I want to say yes. You've not but got yours have... yet. So. I thought we shared it out in the um. Yeah, in the in the cave we did. Yeah. In the cave. Yeah. So that was like thirty-two or something. Uh, yeah, it was thirty-two. And so now it's down to twenty-eight. Yep. Yeah, because we're just drinking loads of this stuff now. Yeah. Well, you've had like quite a lot, mainly because of Bob decay. Another. Another! 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 Actually, um, he needs to do something <laughs> first. The, the right, he's... <coughs> wow! Natural 20! Whoa! Bob is happily knocking these back and he does not care. He, he's a... He's a... Ah, oh, see? I'm trying to, trying to think what the phrase is. He, he's not a lightweight. No, he's, he's a heavyweight like drinker. He's drinking like a fish. Okay. He's drinking like a student. At this point, by the way, you two walk on in. So the mm -hmm. entire party is reassembled. Yay! Yay. I come in and I just put your coins on the table, the two gold pieces. Bob leans over rather expectantly, holds out his hand. I give my gold piece to Bob. Well, I give one gold piece to Bob. Bob is just over the moon. He starts giggling and cheering. <laughs> ah. And leans on you as well. Staring, staring yeah. at the gold coin. <laughs> but you notice his eyes are quite wide and dilated. Even though he's made their constitution save, he's drunk. <laughs> and that, Bob is a gold coin. That is awesome. Gold coin. Like it. Yeah. <laughs> I just and... roll my eyes back. <laughs> <laughs> and at that point we'll take our first break for this. Uh, as opposed to running for three hours straight we'll take a break every now and again. Uh, so we'll see you in a bit. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching the show. It's been great making it and writing it, and now finally actually going around to playing it. Uh, be sure to like, favourite, subscribe on the YouTube jazz, and if you have subscribed, click the little bell icon there next to where the subscribe button is. That way you will always be alerted when these videos go live. Also means a huge deal. Also, please don't hesitate to click the links on screen. They will take you to the players' relevant cosplay pages, YouTube channels, etc., etc. And I'll see you next time.